And now this is why I want to get really clear to make sure everybody understands how this works. And you might hear me in the regular classes explain it too. But this, it's not that one person is deliberately doing something to another person. Because when we are in aura, we are something greater than, more than just what we are singularly, right? We're one plus one equals three, a third thing. So if that person is defined, what happens is the person that's undefined will take on that pressure without the defined person necessarily forcing it on them. They're just going to receive it, reflect it, amplify it. So it's not like somebody's bad or wrong. It's just that this is what tends to happen mechanically. Okay, so what happens when we get conditioning is when we take on that stuff and act on it. Not when we're just sitting there talking to them. If that person is very inspired about, let's say, um, an experience that they just came to an awareness of, I'm gonna pick on the channel of awareness, design of a thinker. They're really inspired and they're really like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing and it means so much to me. They're so super excited about tarot cards, whatever it happens to be. And now this person with the undefined center, because that person is so inspired, now decides to take on studying tarot rather than waiting for clarity if they're emotional or their lunar process, if they're a reflector. That's what creates conditioning. And again, remember, conditioning is not bad or good. It simply is. It's where we learn life. So maybe this person is a three, enters into the right thing that goes wrong, and then maybe they don't like the tarot and they go into something else, banging around, making mistakes, what have you. But you learn from mistakes. So I can never, I never want to judge, turning off my heater, I never want to judge, you know, what happens as good, bad, right, wrong. Because when you get right down to it, at the way that Ross describes it, you really have no choice as far as whether to follow your authority or not. If you've ever come across that. He, at the, towards one of the, I don't know how many years it took me to get to this, but hearing him, seeing him in one of the books, a transcribed lecture, somebody asks him, can I choose to follow my authority? No, no choice. And you're like, well, then why the hell are we doing this if there's no choice? Well, because it gives you an opportunity to see. Awareness is everything. So never coming down on yourself, especially, or anybody else, about not being able to follow your own authority. If your authority is, you know, emotional and you're spontaneously making decisions and then you judge yourself, that's not helpful. It's not. As you decondition and as your cells wake up or they allow the old stuff to go away and it's replaced with new cells that are informed with, hey, I'm a, an emotional projector. I wait for recognition invitation. I wait for emotional clarity. I don't act on nervousness. I don't act on spontaneity. It takes years to get to that place. And yet what the conditioned thinking mind thinks is like, well, I know it now. I should get it right away. And if I don't get it right away, hard on the self, especially third lines. Okay, so I want to make sure that you guys recognize you don't have to explain all that to your students, but do your best to keep guiding them home, guiding them home, reminding them, providing a safe space to experiment, being able to share authentically. I remember in the beginning of the experiment, um, the first couple years, I'm like, I'm following my authority. I know how to wait. I thought I could just you know, sleep on it. And it really isn't that. You need more time than just a night of sleep. Yes, your emotions are different the next day because your chemistry is different. You're a different person, different transits, what have you. But when it comes to big, big, big things in life, projector, what to do for work, where to go to live, who to love, who to bond with, it's not gonna be overnight. For me personally, that's not my experience anyway. And if you're a three, the mistake of not following the authority is really what teaches you something. 